All right, so basically you have the basic scream, which for me is a combination of compression, which is often referred to as the old man voice. Uh, a good example of this, if you've ever seen South Park, is Stan's grandfather, that, oh, oh, Billy, kill me, Billy, voice, combined with Dag Cargira, which I'm not even sure if it's technically Dag, but for me, it just comes out as like this, uh, sorry for that voice crack there, comes out as just, uh, so I think my personal style is the best way for getting a lot of these slam vocals, that's why I'm explaining this. You combine that, uh, with, and it creates a sort of, oh, whoa, it doesn't take a lot of force, it doesn't take a lot of air, it's just kind of there, you can talk with it, it's whatever. Now, combining this with certain tongue placements, uh, my two personal favorites are, excuse me, I got gas, <clears throat> pardon me, is right behind the top teeth, like this, making a sort of, like, shape, that little pucker. I don't know what it is about it, but doing it at a low volume comes out like... It's almost demolich sounding, except it's not the same technique. It's just, I like that watery... Watery! And if you combine that with a pig squeal placement, actually, if you can do pig squeals, like... And do that at that low volume, it makes a cricket guttural. So that's like a... Excuse me. Just eight. And finally, if you can do uh, half of a, uh, a tunnel throat position, so rather than going like this, uh, I'm putting it all like behind your bottom teeth, uh, rather than that, you just kind of imagine your bottom teeth is just being like this and you're just kind of pushing it into the bottom. You're just kind of just like that. You're just not making the full on uh, position. You're just kind of pushing it into your bottom teeth. And I like to kind of allow my cheeks to poof out for this. And it'll look like this without me making the sound. It'll kind of just go that sort of shape, like a puffer fish. And that winds up sounding like this if you do it at that sort of compressed Cargira at a lower to mid volume. It kind of sounds like this. <laughs> And being able to switch from all four of these styles, pig squeals, cricket gutturals, and the two slam variants, and you can do all kinds of cool stuff, you know? I just say it, I'm sorry about the cast. But, um, one final note, a cool thing you can do if you're familiar with uh, whining screams, that's what I like to call them, the best example of this would be uh, Dan Watson from the first Infinite Annihilator album. You'll instantly know what I'm talking about if you've heard that. Like the... I'll just demonstrate it. Like the... Father, forgive me for what I've said. It's got that... Uh, uh, noise in the beginning. I find the best way to achieve this, and you can implement this into slam styles as well, is literally just as you're making a change of consonant, go from the ooh to the scream. So like, hello, you know, the very first syllable is the whine, but as you hit that consonant, you change it. So like, um, what's just a random line? The clear brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. You know, just as you hit that consonant, you change it. And combining this with the tongue placement can make sounds like... And it just adds a little bit more flavor in your screams. Alright, hope this helps.